Hey guys, what is going on? Matt the Sasquatch here, and firstly, excuse the hair, I literally just took a shower. But, beyond that, we are doing a custom on these I just picked up last week for $44. These look a lot like those. Actually, these are inspired by those. Those cost over $3,000, up to $5,000 probably. These were under retail at 44 bucks. The only things that are, are different is, is, well, first off, they're a completely different shoe. That's an that's an easy two, and this is a Jordan one. But they have a lot of the same colors and the same materials, but they do technically have the same colors. Except we have a white sole, which, excuse the bit of dirtiness, I'm gonna clean them up. So, we have the Angelus Yeezy paint to paint the soles. We also got some metal silver aglets for the laces. Just to kind of uh, give them that final good looking uh, detail. Now this will definitely not be a very hard custom as it's 90% there. All, basically all I am doing are the tips and the, the outsole. The, the, the midsole will stay white, but the outsole will become the easy green. So let's go ahead and clean these up and let's get started on this custom.
I don't know if I'm making this. Or making this last outro part for a month. Why? As you can tell, there's still no soul protector on these. And you might be asking why and why you didn't see me putting on the soul protectors. Well, it didn't go as planned. Um, I was putting them on, I was applying heat, and for some reason it kept wrinkling on me. It was, it was like a very bad nightmare. So I then go to peel it off. It took, it stripped off over half of this paint. So what you guys watched was the first time I had to paint one of the shoes. I had to completely repaint one of the, uh, one of the soles, which at the time I was livid, but I lost maybe an extra two hours. Things, things happen. So I am looking at alternatives. I've already gotten suggestions from Snups from those of you who already saw these completed. And honestly, I do love how they turned out. Actually, I was hoping for that kind of a Yeezy Green, but when I began applying this color on, I actually began liking it more. Like, this is a really nice color, which I'm very happy I bought, because now I still have a good portion of that container left to where I can use it on something else. Like, that is a super nice color. So all's not lost. I do plan on getting some soul protectors so that way I can still wear these, but I don't know when that's going to happen, but I at least wanted to put this out there. Actually, I did contact Rejuvenir. They weren't of much help. Unfortunately, I can understand why, but I knew there was no way I was gonna get another set or get back my, my my money so I just dropped it I'm just gonna go with a different product I mean that's it sometimes you live you learn and sometimes those mistakes cost you cash fortunately it was only a $25 mistake but it sucks but now I know what I need to do for next time but still, I absolutely love how these came out. I hope you love how they came out. And there won't be any on feet because I don't have these little protectors. But when I get them, I promise you, I will do a, a follow-up on these with them actually on feet. I do promise you that because I do love still how this just looks now. I think the the painted outsole just gives it that much more flare and pop in the and, and the aglets or lace tips give it just that enough of pop to make them stand out without being too crazy so i hope you all enjoyed make sure to follow me everywhere on the internet